Uswatul Muslima presents Story Time Ilyas learns Ikhlas Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim There was once a boy named Ilyas who always liked to help people he would help his brother and sister his friends in madrasa and any person he saw who needed help Ilyas had such a kind heart that he could not see any person with a need or a problem and ignore him Rather, he just had to go and try to help the person. One day, when Ilyas was in Madrasa, his friend Nadim came running to him and said, Ilyas, Ilyas, please you have to help me or I will be in so much of trouble. Ilyas turned to him and said, Calm down Nadim, what's the matter? Nadim said, I forgot my kitab at home and Molana will give me detention if I don't have a kitab today. because that's the second time i left it at home this week ilyas replied don't worry i have a spare kitab here take it nadim was so happy he said jazakallah took the kitab and went back to his place that day after madrasa as ilyas's father came to fetch him ilyas noticed that ahmad was crying he quickly went to ahmad and asked ahmad what's wrong Is everything okay? Ahmad said, I was supposed to take a lift home with Nadim today, but I forgot to tell him. Now he's already gone, and I don't have a lift to go home. Ilyas immediately said, That's not a problem. You can come with me. We'll give you a lift. Ahmad was so happy that he smiled a big smile from ear to ear. He sat in the car with Ilyas, and in a few minutes, he was back home. That evening, After supper, Ilyas's brother and sister came to him and asked him for help. They said, "Ilyas, we have a new tent that we want to put up in the lounge, but we don't know how to assemble it. Please help us." Ilyas was only too happy to help. So he went to the lounge, and half an hour later, his brother and sister were happily playing in their new tent. The next day, Ilyas had some trouble. Somehow, Everything seemed to be going wrong. First he arrived at Madrasa and then realized that he had left his kitab at home. As Ilyas sat wondering what to do, he saw that Nadim had an extra kitab on his desk. Ilyas quickly went to Nadim and said, "Nadim, I forgot my kitab at home today. Please lend me your extra kitab." Ilyas thought that Nadim would help him because Ilyas had helped him yesterday. But instead of helping him and being kind, Nadim said, If you are so forgetful, then it's your fault. If you get detention, then you deserve it. Why should I help you? Ilyas was very disappointed and very sad, but he did not say anything. That afternoon, Ilyas must have left home because of his detention. But as he came out from Madrasa, he saw Ahmad about to get into his father's car. Ilyas quickly ran to him and asked, "Ahmad, can you please give me a lift home?" However, Ahmad just ignored him and left without even saying anything. Now Ilyas was even more sad and disappointed. He gave Ahmad a lift yesterday. So why was Ahmad being so mean to him today? In the evening after supper, Ilyas was feeling tired. It had been a long and sad day. So he asked his brother and sister if they would help him to clean the toys in the lounge before bedtime. However, they were both rude and said, "Do it yourself." We want to play, not clean. Ilyas could not take any more. He started to cry because he was so sad and disappointed with how everyone was being mean to him, especially when he was so good to them. In fact, Ilyas was so sad that he decided that from now on he was not going to help anyone any more. Later on, as Ilyas lay in bed reading his kalimas and duas, his father came to check on him and tuck him in. His father said to him, "Ilyas, you look sad today. Is everything okay?" Ilyas said, "No, I am very sad and disappointed." He then told his father everything, how he had helped others, but they did not help him and were mean to him. After hearing his complaint, his father said, "Ilyas, We all need to have 
Ikhlas. Ilyas was confused, as he had never heard this word before. He asked his father, What does Ikhlas mean? His father explained, Ikhlas means sincerity. It means that when you do any good deed, then you do it only to make Allah Ta'ala happy. When you do everything to make Allah Ta'ala happy, then you will not worry about whether people are good to you or not, or appreciate or not. You will know that you did it for Allah Ta'ala and He is happy. So you are a winner. Ilyas understood what his father explained, but also said, Daddy, I won't be sad anymore, because I know that Allah Ta'ala is happy with me. But I also won't be good to these people anymore, because they don't deserve it. They are mean people. Ilyas' father replied, No, Ilyas. Just because other people are mean to you, it does not mean that you must be mean to them. Our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that we must also be good to those who are bad to us. So whatever happens, don't stop being good to people and helping them. Ilyas decided, there and then, that from that day on, he would continue to try and help people and be good to them. Even if they did not appreciate and were bad to him, he would not worry and be sad because he knew that Allah Ta'ala was happy with him and that is the most important thing. From the story, we learn that when we do any good action, we must do it only to make Allah Ta'ala happy. This is called ikhlas. We also learn that if we are kind to someone, but they do not appreciate, then we should not become sad and worried. As long as Allah Ta'ala is happy with us, we are winners. And finally, if people are bad to us, we should not be bad to them. We should still be kind to them. The End